Hello and welcome back to my channel Thrifty Day. My name is Leah. I'm the creator behind Thrifty Day. Today's episode is going to be a Dollar Tree flip. We are going to turn those heart-shaped candy boxes you can find at Target or Walmart or the Dollar Tree and we are going to turn them into a really cute vintage style heart-shaped candy box for Valentine's Day. By the way, I live in Southern California, so if you can hear all of that rain in the background, it is because we are having massive storms and, oh my goodness, it's quite loud. But I had to film the VO, so here we go. So these are perfect to give to your friends or your Galentines or your Valentine. You can use any image. I am using old book pages because I have a plentiful amount of them here in my studio. As you can see, we're just going to decorate the top. You don't even need to do anything with the bottom so that candy can stay untouched and completely intact. So I'm just gonna set this Pinocchio one I already made as a sample on the side. I am going to use book pages, but you can use anything, your own art, um, something you print off the internet if it's for your personal use, whatever you want to use. A photo, I would recommend maybe photocopying it though so it's not glossy. I have lots of book pages that have coloring all over them because I can't you know, seem to part with them because always there's something on there I can use. And so I am going to use this old book page with holes in it. It is from a old, old, old little golden book. It's Bongo. And um, I am just going to trace the top of the candy box heart uh, right onto the book page. You're watching me do it. Easy peasy. And yes, I am using my favorite candy cane pen from Christmas. I love this pen. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So you're just going to use the top of the box that you have. You're going to trim it exactly, and then you're going to cut it out. You won't need the bottom part at all, so you can completely set it aside somewhere. Just cover it so the chocolate stays nice if you intend to keep using the chocolate. And I am just going to carefully cut this heart out. We are actually going to trim it in glitter. So if you don't cut the heart out entirely perfect, 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 don't worry. The glitter is going to cover a lot of, you know, what might be bad cutting. I actually did a good job here, but usually I'm not the great, like the greatest cutter. So <laughs> um, as you can see, it goes on pretty, pretty well enough. And I will say the top of the... Um, heart box on mine it's like a little bit domed so i would add a very generous amount of glue i am using um, a glue stick by tombow mono i would even say maybe use wet glue and then give it a good amount of time to dry maybe put something not too heavy that's going to damage the top of the box but maybe something heavy enough that you can make sure that it seals all the way um, I noticed mine started to lift a little bit in the end, so I had to add a little bit more glue. But I think if I used a maybe a stronger glue, that wouldn't have happened. So once you have your image on, just press firmly. These boxes have like a rim around them, so you can really press it down pretty tight and get a nice seal on there. Um, in hindsight, I think I probably would have used wet glue and then just given it a little bit more time to dry. I used a glue stick because I thought it would dry faster, which it did. It just wasn't quite strong enough. So um, I, I think I definitely would have switched over to wet glue. Now I'm going to use Mod Podge. You can even find Mod Podge at Dollar Tree. I always see this exact matte Mod Podge, brand Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree. They come in little bottles. So you can even find spun br sponge brushes and Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree. You're going to add a light, light, light amount of Mod Podge around the entire rim of the heart. You don't wanna to add too much. I added too much on the Pinocchio one and it took forever to dry. So I decided to add a lot less for this one and then I'm just gonna sprinkle that extra fine gold glitter around the entire rim of the heart. If you don't have fine gold glitter, you can just use whatever gold glitter is at the Dollar Tree. I have seen fine gold there. It usually comes in a pack of four with a few other colors too. So um, that little vial you will get at the Dollar Tree is more than enough to use for this particular craft. If you have, if you are using fine and that glitter is kind of all over your page, just use a um, brush and it'll kind of just sort of sweep away that glitter and that way your image will dry nice and clear without extra gold glitter around it and just keep tapping it just work with it and you know once you use glitter it just stays forever so in a moment i'm actually going to show you a hack to get rid of all that glitter that is on your hands and on your desk I know glitter, especially extra fine glitter drives me crazy. I honestly don't use it that much for that reason. But see, as you can see, you may not be able to see, but I have all of that extra fine glitter all over my hands. So I use a lip roller. 
And with this lint roller, I just, you know, you can put it on any surface. I put it all over my hands. I do exactly what you were watching me do. And all of the glitter ends up on the lint roller and off of your hands. I have dogs, so we have lint rollers in every room. <laughs> so if you don't have a lint roller, you can also find these at the Dollar Tree or anywhere. Um, but it's really excellent to have in general because you can even use it like you can see here. I'm using it on my workspace to pick up all that extra glitter so it doesn't stay there and get all over my future projects or my journals. So now that we've picked up all our glitter and our glitter is mostly dry, I'm going to grab these streamers also purchased at the Dollar Tree, both pink and red were purchased there. Um, they were in the Valentine section, but I'm sure they're also in the party section. Um, you're just gonna turn that lid right over and I'm going to use my fabric tack. Now, I don't think you can find fabric tack brand glue at Dollar Tree, but I do know they have a clear, like little squeeze bottle glue. And I've heard that people do describe that as having a fabric tack consistency. I would use that for this particular um, craft. So now what we are going to do is add our streamers and we're going to create like a ruffled effect. So I'm going to let you watch me because that probably will be better than me trying to explain it to you. But all I'm doing is folding about a quarter inch folds and I'm sticking it all firmly down into the glue. So I'm just doing a quarter inch and pressing it down into the glue, another quarter inch and pressing it down into the glue. And I'm going to keep doing that until the entire side of that heart is completely filled with ruffles. Now for this step, I did use a generous amount of that fabric tack so that when I press it down, it does go in between the layers. So if that makes sense, if there's enough glue that it sort of saturates through the first layer streamer into the second one so that they stay nice and adhered onto each other. So once I have one side of the heart done, I'm going to move on to the second side of the heart. And you can see I'm using a pretty generous amount of glue, not so much that it's gonna seep over the edge, but enough that it's it's more than a line. Um, you're done with your glue now, so put your lid back on there nice and tight so that your fabric tack stays nice and loose. And you're gonna continue that same process over the entire other half of the heart. I love this craft. I use this technique not just at Valentine's Day. I think it has a really fun vintage look. And um, a little bit further into the video, I'm gonna show you a rosette I made using a different color streamer. It's one I made years ago and I only recently put it into my most recent journal. So I'll show that a little bit further down into the video. If you are enjoying this content, please hit that like button. If you are new, be sure to introduce yourself and say hi. I've been loving seeing so many new followers and being able to interact with you. And so I'm always grateful when you leave a comment. Once you've made it completely around the heart with the streamer, you just need to kind of pat it down so that the streamers connect on the top. And so it just looks like one fluid piece. And then of course, just cut your streamer away and you're all done. I would set this aside to dry. Mm, fabric track dries pretty quick, at least five or 10 minutes though, and you are done. Now, of course, you can embellish this in any way you want. You can add flowers, you can add other hearts, you can add more glitter, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to leave mine a little bit more basic. I think it looks really cute this way, although I do think it would be cute to add a little bow. So now I'm just gonna bring my chocolate back. I'm gonna snap that lid right back on top and it is ready to go. This would be really sweet to use some vintage sheet music too. And maybe you could even write a little note on the top. I don't know. I think there's a lot of creative ways that you could add to this craft. This could actually just sort of be a base, but I think it's a really fun way to upcycle or, or upgrade rather a Dollar Tree treat. I brought out a couple samples of freestanding sort of similar hearts with this similar technique that I made. We made these on a Patreon live. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, all of the information is down in the description. You can tap those links and check it out. But these are more like journaling cards. It's pretty much the same technique, but you cut the hearts out yourself and you add that streamer in pretty much the same way. If you're part of my Patreon, you can go back a few lives and you will find that complete tutorial. So you can see how I made these, but it's a very similar technique. If you follow this DIY, you can very easily move on to make it with your own cutout hearts, whether it's cut out from book pages or cardstock or even upcycled packaging from anything in your kitchen or in your house. 
I love the little journal cards because they go really sweet in a junk journal. Let me show you. This is my completed personal journal, and I made a very similar rosette. It isn't Valentine's Day. It's Snow White. But as you can see, I just used staples, and I stapled it right to the page. And I just think it's a really sweet vintage look. So these are really fun. You can even just use the back of that heart as a journal card. You can write on it and stick it in a pocket. You can give them to friends. You can send them in mail. It's just it's just whimsical. So today was a really fun, very simple, very inexpensive craft. I hope you were inspired. I hope everyone has a really happy Valentine's Day. If you do this craft, be sure to tag me on Instagram or TikTok, YouTube, or even on Facebook because I would love to see. And I hope everybody has a really good week. It's very rainy here, so everybody stay safe, especially if you're in Southern California and experiencing all this rain that we are very much not used to. So have a really good one. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.